Okay. There were quite a few people asking in the comments on my YouTube videos and even more people asking on my Twitch chat about what settings I'm running. So here's a full video on all my settings and also what I've done in my windows and game files to tune the game to run as well as it does on a two year old rig. And I will also include the audio. I've seen a lot of questions about that too. But let's start with the most important thing of all, in my opinion, the game files and how to alter them. To locate the file that we are gonna change these settings in, you're going to go to your PC, go into documents, click the Call of Duty folder, go in on players and locate options for COD 23. Click that. By the way, if this isn't already a notepad file for you, you simply just choose to open with notepad. And then it should look like this. Here's the first one that always gave us a nice boost in FPS in the previous titles, and it's the thread count for handling the job queue. If you don't know what CPU you have, that is easy to find out. Go to task manager, go to performance. Name of your CPU is right here, even the amount of cores. So my CPU has 16, but it is an Intel processor and half of the cores are E cores. So I used to run this at eight. However, now I find that 15 is okay and I've been running it at that. Besides these two settings, there are actually quite a few more to alter now to gain a significant boost on your frame rate. And the first one we're gonna alter is AI corpses. To find this, you simply search for it by pressing control F, type in AI corp cess. You can go ahead and set this down to zero. Next option is right underneath. Show blood, put it to false, put the blood limit to true. Then the next setting is one limited blood effects, number of milliseconds between effects, blood limit interval. Put it down to one. After that, we're gonna search corpse again, and it's gonna show us the corpses culling threshold. You can move that all the way down to 0 0.5. It's actually better to just copy what you see here, if it's there, to make sure you have the right amount of zeros and so on. Uh, by the way, the search function in here can be a bit of a pain. It doesn't work the same as on Google Chrome or whatever, so click up here before you do the next search. We're gonna search for texture, and we're gonna locate the texture filtering quality level right here. This doesn't really improve much if you're on a high-end rig, but I still want to keep mine to linear. This is not something you can change in the game. We're gonna go back up before we search for the next, and we're gonna put in Cat Mull. Cat Mull Clark subdivision level. Put that to zero. That's that. Next is Sun Shadow. Most of this stuff is pretty straightforward. You wanna put everything to as low as possible. I still advise you to actually just copy paste from the alternatives here to make sure that something isn't messed Spelled. Moving on to reflection, reflection probe lightning update stages is set to four. We're going to put that all the way down to one. Next, we put in static, static sun shadow clip map resolution. Take that completely out at zero. Then put in virtual search. Now change that from small or whatever default your setting might be on. Put in extra small. Then type in GPU, upload heaps to true. This is on true by default, but make sure it is. And this is interesting because this has to do with resizable bar, which is something you change in BIOS. A lot of people have been saying that you need to turn this off for Warzone 3. But if you make sure that this is on true and you have resizable bar enabled, you should be good. The final piece is right underneath here. I do not know why, is it, why it says folder, but you want to put this to false. Nobody likes motion blur especially when landing in and moving. So now exit it, hit save. And what I like to do, even though you don't have to do it anymore, is go into properties and put it to read only. Last time I made a video like this, I saw a lot of comments of people who were nervous or paranoid that they could get banned for changing these settings. Do not worry. You are only changing game settings. You're fine. Also, if something would happen that you don't like, you can just delete the file and Call of Duty will restore the original. So go nuts. Try everything. Try some other things. I'm open to tips. Tell me something in the comments that I missed. Once we're done with that part, we can move on to the Windows settings. Go to the Windows button, type in graphics, click on graphics settings. There's a lot of debate about the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, whether it should be on or off. I've always kept mine on, but some people argued that your game ran better with it off. I think this differs from rig to rig, however. In Erzik's stand, it seems to benefit everyone to run it on. But go ahead and try which works best for you. You can also go in here and put in a graphic performance preference on your game. By doing that, you just browse wherever you install Call of Duty, put it in here, put on options, choose high performance, hit save. Go into game mode, make sure that that's on. Game bar, hit game bar settings, make sure that that is off. Also, go in, hit power, go into power and sleep settings, additional power settings, run it on high performance. Balanced is also fine, 
You're probably wondering about bits and highest performances. It's basically the same as high performance with a few little tweaks. The reason I use it like this is because I use an app called Process Lasso, which I use to set up different apps, games, and so on to have different power plans. So when I'm closing everything down like OBS, it'll automatically put on Power Saver. Next up is the NVIDIA settings, and I'm only going to cover the NVIDIA settings because I haven't had an AMD card in over a decade. In here, you go into Manage 3D Settings. There's only really one setting you want to change here, and it's the shader cache size. You also want to make sure that you have 100 gigabytes available on that drive for the game you have installed. The reason you got to do this in global settings is because there is no options for it in the game settings. While in the game... I don't know what 007, I don't know why 007 Legends of Fear, I've never played that game in my life, but for some reason it was there. Go and find Modern Warfare 3, there is a, a ton of them here apparently. Locate the Modern Warfare 3 2023 COD.exe file. I used to tweak a lot more things here, but you can just look at these settings. Uh, power management mode, maximum performance could probably help. But what's the most important here is to put low latency mode on ultra here. If you are running low latency mode plus boost in game. The reason for that is because the global setting here is actually set to off. These, the, the settings I've actually changed here are ones to, the settings here, wh why is it on James Bond, bro? <clears throat> COD.exe, uh, okay, uh, well, y you know what? I don't know why it says this and why it won't move from it, but let's pretend that it says COD.exe and you don't have the same issue as me because I know that I set, changed these settings. These settings inside the program settings are mainly just to override the global settings. As you can see here, some of these global settings are actually set to power manage mode is normal, for an example. So the most important setting here, as I said, low latency mode is actually set to off here in the global settings. So you don't want to use the global settings for your game here. Put it to ultra for Warzone, on for multiplayer. Make sure you have the same settings in game. Not sure if it matters, though, because this setting, I'm pretty sure, will override whatever you set the game to. Power manage mode to maximum performance. Maximum performance on, texture filter and crawling, high performance. Trailing optimization on, threaded optimization on, and we're done here. I have some input on a little side note. If you're streaming from the same PC or using any other app like Discord that has the hardware acceleration alternative, if you're playing a battle royale like Warzone, you want to have this on. There's so many guides telling you to turn this off. But what hardware acceleration means is that you're using your GPU. If you're not using it, it's going to use your CPU. And you should know by now that Warzone is CPU bound and not GPU bound. So make sure to actually use hardware acceleration on any app that you are running on the side of your game. Always, unless you're playing multiplayer on high settings, make sure to leave this on. We have some more performance tweaks to do, but let's dive into the audio first. When it comes to audio, most of you should probably by now have heard about something called loudness equalization. To change this on Windows 10, which I'm on, choose whatever device you're using your game for, go into enhancements, click on loudness equalization. You can also change different levels. I like to keep mine here, but each of his own. And it might differ from rig to rig, headset to headset, and so on. We might as well start with the least important setting when it comes to audio that everybody's talking about but it's kind of pointless because what this is actually is, is just equalizer settings. I use home theater and this is not what people say is the best, even though I don't think it matters. PC speaker is allegedly the best. I prefer home theater. I started using this all the way back in Verdansk. A lot of you wanted my audio settings, so that's what I use. What actually does matter the most is not a setting. It is a perk. Hopefully you have heard about this by now. I didn't even know I was running this perk. I heard about it and I didn't care because my audio was fine. But turns out that the flex perk is the most prominent part here that gives me that audio that makes people accuse me of wall hacking in my videos. I don't know exactly what it does, but I, I guess it reduces combat noise and uh, with loudness equalization, maybe it enhances footsteps while reducing combat noise. The reason I started using this is because my playstyle is very aggressive in solos. And as you know, there are a lot of rats in solos placing out claymores and mines and stuff. And with this perk, you hear a beeping and they do not explode right away. And that's the only reason I actually started using it. So I might have unintentionally lied to some people asking me while I was live streaming that I was not using the perk, <laughs> but it turns out I was. I just didn't know it was this perk. We might as well go through our graphic settings while in here and we're not gonna be too slow. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna put on minimum here. Then there are a few things you want to change, but we're not going to go through that and drag out time. I'm going to just slowly scroll through here and you can just pause the video every now and then and just copy these settings right off if that's what you want. Some audio expert once told me that it's better to keep it not at 100%, so I keep mine at 99. 
dialogue at 50 because that guy's southern uh, accent is kind of annoying voice chat at 40 because this game is full of degenerates that don't know how to turn their mic off or even know that it's on and that's that Sorry, i'm not going to bore you too much with it i'm just going to scroll through it and you can pause and copy whatever you like yes i do run legacy instead of relative i've made a couple of videos on why this is useful back in warzone 2 or in almazra you want to check those videos out there's a playlist for them in my channel zone have fun enjoy that here are my keybinds yeah, i just used an extra prone keybind here because i find it easier sometimes to dive while running off a ledge while sprinting and so on we're just going to scroll through it real fast for those who wanted to know this gameplay There you go. <sighs> there. I hope that clears some things out for some of you. And if you're new in here, I generally upload gameplay daily on YouTube right now. So if you like that kind of stuff, it's mostly solos in Urzikstan. Feel free to drop a sub. Of course, drop by on Twitch. I'll leave a link in the description below for that as well. I'm live weekdays. And before you go, please leave a like on the video to help the channel out. Have a great rest of your day.